Welcome back to another episode of me doing my own hair. In this video, I, I didn't show how I usually blow dry um, my hair, but these are the two products that I always use to moisturize my hair for protective styles. It's this right here. And I use this right here. So those are the two products that I use every time before I do a protective style, just so my hair is looking luscious and moisturized. Um, so yeah, um, we do have a sponsored video by Talk To Hair. I was thinking about doing uh, like a look that Aaliyah J did because this wig is like 20 inches. And Aaliyah usually like does a layered look on her wigs. Aaliyah J and I wanted to kind of mimic that with one of her pictures so like something like this with like the hair all layered and stuff so she's kind of shorter than me so my wig is gonna be 20 inches so it's probably gonna be like right above my boob instead of like how she has it but I do want it to be like that layered look and this is the lace can y'all see that hold on there it goes. This is the lace. This is how she's looking. Um, I'm not gonna bleach this hair this time, but this is what the inside looks like. It's like a closure wig, 20 inches. So for the inside of the wig, um, all my wigs, I usually use the Kiss. I usually use this Kiss found, um, powder foundation in the color Mocha. It's right here. So right here, I'm just plucking the wig to my desired density. As y'all can see, I'm still here, I'm still alive. This is what I've plucked so far. I probably will pluck a little bit more because, yeah, I need it. Um, But this wig is so soft. This is a 20 inch and I'm 5'6". So, comes down to here. And yeah, I'm gonna, um, Flatten it out and hot comb it so that I can really see what I want to pluck more of. And add powder, of course, see how that looks. So, yeah. I'm gonna be using, I don't even know if this is the right, uh, I don't know if this is the right hair stick to use for your wigs and a hot comb, but this is what I normally use. 
Um, if I'm completely incorrect, y'all can let me know in the comments, but I usually just take the hair stick and lay this down. And I take the hair stick on this side and I lay this down. So that when I go in with the hot comb, I know which way I need stuff to go. And it just lays it down better than um, using a hot comb really lays your hair down better than when you uh, use a flat iron. So, got my hot comb right here. Let me see, is it ready? Mm. Not really, but. So, yeah. Just gonna take a piece of this. Yeah, the hot comb is not as hot yet, but once it gets hot, yeah, let's add a little bit more powder. And I like using powder instead of um, like concealer and stuff because the concealer, I don't know, it makes it look different than it would if you use powder. So I just use powder, child. I'm gonna use one of my angle brushes and I'm just gonna add that powder straight down a little. Oh, when I normally do my wigs, I don't usually wear a bald cap just because I I just don't. But I do kind of see the difference when people do do it. I have tried it before and it just came out a hot mess. I like to take my wigs on and off, so I always use Got To Be Gel. And I literally just put it on the front of my hairline. And I add about two to three layers. And just let it dry and get tacky <laughs> and make sure I put enough especially on these little edges because they're a little thick
So in this clip, I'm just showing you guys how I sectioned off my hair and went ahead and layered it. I use scissors and just use it, use it in like a diagonal motion to not cut it like so bluntly. Anyway, so my camera is about to die, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm gonna see y'all in my next one.